Welcome Chris Rowley from uh, TextMinet uh, at the European you. Crowdsourcing Week. You just uh, had your presentation uh, on stage. Uh, what is TextMinet? TextMinet is a translation agency uh, based here in, in Denmark. Um, uh, yeah, what more can I say? We do, we do copywriting, we do graphic production uh, and crowdsourcing. Yeah, because you really changed recently. Uh, when did you start with the change to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to, to MindLinks? Well, Mind, MindLinks is, is, is our, is our crowdsourcing platform. So, um, what we, we call the people that participate in a crowd minds, um, because we feel that, that, that using their minds, they, they, they add the value to the translation process. So, so mind links is the crowd platform made up of minds. And those minds could be hobbyists, they could be professional translators, they could be um, subject matter experts. Um, it might be someone who, um, who um, it just likes to translate. And uh, um, so you made the switch uh, because uh, when did you start with, uh, with MindLinks? So what, what we did... Um, or in, in, in which year? Yeah, in which year. So we, we started with crowdsourcing in 2013. Um, actually, today was the first day we unveiled our MindLinks logo and the name. So Congratulations. Thank you. So it was, it was very new for us. Um, but we, we, we began doing crowdsourcing last year. So we, we, had, we had a client, Lego, the Lego Group. Um, that, that had a product in the United States that they needed to test the European waters um, and needed to have it translated. So what we did was, instead of doing traditional translation, which would have been simply finding a professional translator to do the work, we decided to tap into LEGO's own rich community of, of adult fans. Um, so what we did was we, we ended up recruiting um, and testing, of course. They're vetted for their, ling their, their linguistic ability. Um, uh, 20 people to then help us translate from English to German and um, what, we, what we found was that we, are, we were able to translate 60,000 words in three and a half days um, and, and these people all worked full-time. And these were all Lego fans? These were all Lego fans and they worked for free, right? And they wanted to and what we found the biggest problem when we were finished with the project on, on Thursday afternoon when we were finished the biggest problem was there wasn't more to translate. We had a lot of emails, we had a lot of uh, entries into the, into the community forum saying, where's more text? We want to translate, we want to, you know, we want to be more involved. So that was actually our, our biggest problem. Um, what I think is, is, is very interesting because uh, uh, is, is the, the, the step you made from a traditional agency into the crowdsourcing. Right. And what way did you, and what way did, did this pro pro process was going? Well, there's, there's, without a doubt, it's very disruptive. People talk about crowdsourcing being a disruptive thing, and it was very disruptive within our own company, within our own agency. How many Be people are working there? Uh, between 50 and 60. So we actually we have offices around the world. And, and um, um, when crowdsourcing came about and we started talking to colleagues about what crowdsourcing was, there was a lot of pushback. There, there, there was, you know, wow, that's not how we do things. Um, so it's interesting because, you know, a lot of discussion about crowdsourcing is how disruptive it is and in, in, in industries, but it can be disruptive within companies as yeah, well. Internal disruption, Internally. Yeah, internal um, disruption. Uh, but what we've found with time is that, that, that people inside have started to understand what it means, the opportunities it provides. Because what we believe, we've, our company's always believed in embracing opportunity. So we, we see challenges and we then see the opportunities to overcome those challenges and we embrace those opportunities. So we're, we're, we've always believed in, in being dynamic and moving for, you know, forward thinking, future thinking, uh, instead of being stuck in, in, in traditional ways of doing things. And that's where Crowd is fantastic because it allows us to, to take that big step forward and, and, and go away from traditional translation. It allows us to tap into our clients' communities that they have uh, it allows us to to empower people that want to translate that are not necessarily professional translators. Um, you know, this week there's been a lot of talk about Airbnb. They can make anyone a ho you know anyone can run a hotel. Uh, Uber, anyone can be a chauffeur. Um, we believe that that w and we feel that we can empower anyone to communicate. Yeah, interesting. And 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 what way did you uh, manage internal to to let this dis disruption? Uh, process uh, being successful because there were also, also people who were saying ah, come on uh, uh, like you said this is not how we do things yeah right right well it's it's an ongoing dialogue it is I mean and to say that we're finished talking about it internally we're, we're not I'm you know um, it's, it's disruptive but of course I mean with with any organization with any with any 
one out there who's going to deal with crowdsourcing, and they need to learn about it. That's the big thing, right? So we often find ourselves talking and trying to have open an open dialogue with our with our colleagues, with our clients, educating them about what crowdsourcing is, what it means, the potential it provides, um, that it's it's not scary um, because people have been doing co-creation and collaborative work for forever. We're humans. That's what humans do. Um, but a platform like what MindLinks does is it is it it is allows people to work together in a different way than maybe we're used to working. Yeah. Um, but but actually, we're still doing the same thing. Yeah. That's we're right. still translating. Yeah. It's just a different way of doing it. So it, it's there's nothing to be scared about. In fact, it's really exciting because instead of working in our little silos and working by ourselves, we actually get to work with other people. Which that's what we as humans love to do. We and, love to connect. Yeah. And how do the uh, translators you hire for other projects uh, respond on, on this new uh, platform? Do, well, they, I, do they understand <laughs> it, or, or do they think, "Come on, uh, this is my yeah. job"? I think, I think, I think you, I think the reactions go from ever from being, "Wow, that's really cool. I want to be part of it," to saying, "You know, fear. What is that? You know, what's it going to? Is it going to take away my job?" Um, the whole point is, no, it's not taking anyone's jobs. In fact, it's offering opportunities. Yeah. You know, as, as, as Rob said today, 99.9% um, of all the, all the information that's produced is not translated. It's mm -hmm. only available in one language. So the fact of the matter is there's so much out there that we can help each other communicate with. No one's going to lose their job. No translator's going to lose their job. There's, there is opportunity for us to improve and allow everyone to communicate better. And you're now using the crowds of the companies that, that uh, uh, you work for, like with Lego? Like, are, like for Lego. Right. Are, you, are you also building up your own crowd? Because I think uh, uh, like when a Lego translator mm -hmm. <coughs> has experience uh, with uh, uh, translating Lego, maybe he or she thinks, oh, this is cool, I want to do this more. Definitely, definitely. I mean, we, we, we did some research when we were finished with the pilot project for Lego, and, and about half of the participants um, uh, said that they were interested in the process, they liked doing it, Um, and they would they would consider doing it for other clients as well, other people, other companies. So what it what it what it proved to us was that that you know providing a place where people can share, where they feel empowered to do something that they find interesting, um, means that that it comes easily, it works easily, um, and and if we can do something to keep them coming back, well then they'll they'll come back again and they'll yeah. want to participate again and again. Yeah, but uh, now they're doing it for free, like with Lego, but it uh, gets me because they they love Lego. Right. But I think also when you're going to ask them for, for, for other jobs, for, for other translation jobs, in the end, you, uh, uh, you all, uh, also when you look at the value uh, that you give to them, there also has to be some money value. In well, there are definitely rewards. <coughs> there are definitely rewards. And then there were actually rewards for the, they worked for free and they didn't actually, because it was a pilot, we didn't want to tell them, but they actually did end up getting rewards okay. uh, at the end. Several weeks when the project was, when they were very surprised and of course very happy to get paid for something they didn't expect. But yes, when 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 the way we see in the future is that yes, there would be rewards um, and they would be tied to your your participation with yeah. within the platform. Yeah. So of course the people that participate more get greater rewards. And uh, what are, what are your next steps in the near future? In the near future, well, as I said, we just launched uh, MindLinks today. Uh, today, the name and the official yeah. logo today. Um, we've been speaking about it with many clients, but but today is really the the official, the you know, real official launch. Now the logo's out. Um, the next steps are to to continue educating. We're we're partners with the Danish Crowd Source, uh, Danish Crowd uh, Sourcing Association, and what we see is is uh, which which is an organization meant to to um, improve the profile of crowdsourcing within Denmark. And we're partners with them because that's what we feel we need to do. Our biggest hurdle right now is that too many people don't know what crowdsourcing is or they have preconceived notions about what crowdsourcing is that are, are not conducive to collaborative work, right? There's, there's fear, there's misunderstanding. Um, and what we feel our job is to go out and advocate for crowdsourcing, uh, co-creation, collaboration, that kind of thing, sharing. Uh, we believe very much in the power of sharing. So our goal is to to get out there and, and, and spread the word and, and, and make people, you know, aware of, of the possibility, of yeah. the opportunity. And your final ambition, is it a global platform for translators or, uh, or for non-professional translators? Yeah, I think so. Okay, how many years? <laughs> oh, I can't promise you. <laughs> okay. But I mean, if we could say mm -hmm. tomorrow, we'd do it tomorrow if we could. Yeah. Obviously, because we believe in it. We're very passionate about it. Um, and we want to roll this out as quickly as we can because we see benefits for, for everyone involved. Yeah, cool. Good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome.